Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the affinity estimation. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in Agile or Scrum or estimation techniques you want to learn. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So friend, affinity estimation, like if you are using any methodology, for example, waterfall methodology you are using. So basically friend, we used uh, different techniques for estimation. So similarly in Agile or Scrum, we used affinity estimation as well. Affinity estimation is a technique many Agile teams use to quickly and easily estimate a large number of user stories in story points. This is a great technique if a project has just started and have a backlog that has not been estimated yet or in preparation for release planning. Now we have to discuss the main characteristics of Agile Affinity Estimation. Quick and easy, make decision fairly transparent and visible, create a positive and collaborative experience rather than confrontational exercise in estimation session. We all know friend whenever we are estimation that estimating the things we have to do lots of discussion and uh, sometime we have to do confrontation with teams member as well. The major participants whenever we are doing a session for uh, estimation main participants are product owner of a project, delivery agile team and the scrum master to facilitate. So here you can understand the main core roles of the uh, Scrum of Agile like uh, Product Owner, uh, Scrum Development Team and the Scrum Master. They all will facilitate, they all will sit together for the estimation. Now what are the steps uh, involved in affinity estimations? These steps are silent relative sizing. The Product Owner provides the user stories to the team and the Agile team silently establishes the relative sizes of the user stories. The team uh, arranges these stories in ascending order on a horizontal scale. It may also be done by rearranging nodes or index until the entire team uh, is satisfied with the order. This step is performed silently as in mute mapping to keep the process quick and non-confrontational. Then editing the wall. Uh, basically what is this step? The team members edit the relative sizes on the wall. This step involves the discussion between the product owner and the team and the later can optionally uh, rearrange the order that was decided in the first step based on their relative discussion and decision. Whenever we are talking about uh, wall basically what that mean that on the wall or you can say any uh, any wall take any wall and put the uh, stories here on the wall okay this is the main uh, concept here then placing items on uh, into relative sizing buckets buckets means the grouping actually the items are placed into definite uh, buckets or groups which are labeled to the estimation scale of, of choice for example the buckets can be labeled as extra small uh, small medium large extra large or it may be labeled based on a a non-linear scale with a story point values such as 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and 30. This is the label there. So whenever we are talking about label, small, medium size, this is the basically concept of label here. Product owner challenge. The product owner in this step may discuss the sizes with the team. If the team does decide to change the size of a story, they first remove it from the wall and then place it according to the revised size that they arrive at based on discussion with the product owner for example product ask any question so what we can do like uh, as a team member i can uh, move it from here to there for example so i will shift the uh, grouping or the label of the story based on the discussion with the product owner then uh, storing the data after the entire team fa finalized the estimates the data is uh, stored and the affinity estimation is documented after the completion of this step the process of affinity estimation is considered complete okay so uh, this is the whole process of the affinity estimation what is actually affinity estimation affinity estimation is simply a process of uh, basically estimation of user stories in agile or scrum methodology 
ओके फ्रेंड देन कॉस्ट और बेनिफिट बजट एस्टिमेशन टू बेसिक क्वेश्चंस दैट इज जनरल एनीवन मे आस्क लाइक प्रोडक्ट ऑनर कैन आस्क वेयर डू प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट एस्टिमेट कम फ्रॉम एंड हाउ डू आई इवन गेट स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग अ बजट फ्रेंड द बजट इज द फाइनेंशियल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ मेजर कॉस्ट कैटेगरीज स्पेसिफाइड बाय द स्पॉन्सर द पर्पज ऑफ एन एस्टिमेट इन द corporate world is to enable the sponsor to set aside a budget for the entire initiative not just the current iteration this estimating task is uh, is also not that uh, baffling either as iterations are time bound entire projects are both time bound and cost bound the client sets the budget that regulates the features that will be included in the project in a agile world team starts with the sponsors available budget and then determines what can be uh, delivered within that budget cost budgets allocate portions of the total to individual task then based on the team velocity we calculate budget allocated in each iteration for example seven team members working at a billable rate of $500 per day for example just take it as an example okay it is estimated that the project will need 20 iterations to complete with 20 days per iteration and now what is iteration iteration is simply a sprint 3 to 4 weeks time period in which what we do we do plan travel app test etc now what is the cost of the project cost per engineer for 10 days is 10 multiplied by 500 that means $5000 cost per iteration mean per engineer cost multiply by number of engineers so that means 5000 multiply by 7 is equal to $35000 total cost $35000 multiply by 20 that means $7000 actually so there are three main concepts you need to understand to do agile estimation estimation of sizes gives a high level estimate for the work item typically measured using a neutral uh, units such as points velocity tells us how many uh, points this project team can deliver within an iteration estimation of effort translate uh, the size measured in points to a detailed estimate of effort typically using the units of actual days or actual hours as well okay uh then uh, friend the estimation of efforts indicates how long it will take the team members to complete the assigned work items estimation cannot be made perfect smaller items are easier to estimate the larger items taking more time does not always mean that estimates are more accurate estimation occurs do not cancel but accumulate the process must take uncertainty into account okay so that means in that way you can understand the concept of estimation as well so a uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends